So as this YSL case unfolds and everything that's been happening from the beginning all the way up until now, I'm slowly starting to lean towards Young Thug may have a slight greater chance at beating this case or at least getting some less time. And I only say that because of these factors. We got two different accounts of conflict of interest with Fonny, you know, initiating this whole Rico case. And with her dealing with Trump and the election case. And her messing with Trump with the election case kind of opened up a can of worms with this YSL thing. So we already got her dealing with her case with the prosecutor that she hired, Nathan Wade, to prosecute Trump. Which was... Oh yeah, let me check my mic. Yeah, so which was stupid because... Out of all the prosecutors in the state of Georgia that's black, that I'm pretty sure that you know, you chose this nigga to prosecute a former president of the United States. And it's the same tactic that Trump used to dig up dirt on her as he would any other politician that he would run against in a race. And in fact, we're going to see some of it displayed this year because it's an election year. So he just simply did her dirt on her. He's like, bitch, you ain't finna pull this shit out on me talking about I was cheating with the election election bitch you cheating with both cases I didn't find out that you fucking your prosecutor that you hired to prosecute me let alone you allegedly got had something to do with the Donovan Thomas guy that you're bringing a Rico case forth down on YSL and Young Thug with because it's alleged that she was dealing with Donovan Thomas which was the person that was a casualty of this YSL war, whatever they had on going on with who or whatever, back in 2015, wherever. And that is a conflict of interest because you was dealing with that person. And it's supposedly said that the whole reason why you brought this Rico case down on them is because of his death. That's what's the word on the street. So, you know, they, they kind of with, with, with funny with her whole cross-examination as we know she has been disqualified from this Trump case so with her whole cross-examination is really put a big smear on her political career I would think as far as her dealing with these cases and her alleged affair with this guy and her responses on this cross-examination stand like they just they clearly have funny rattled and you know what they say they, they tell you you know never let them see you sweat you know what i'm saying and that's clearly what funny letting them do has he ever visited you at the place you laid your head so let's be clear because you lied in this just let me tell you which one you lied in right here <laughs> just answer the, the the question funny don't be trying to tell nobody when they lie this is a prime example of how you do not want to be on the stand on a cross-examination stand you're showing them that you are sweating you're bothered you know answer the question straightforward and just keep it at that Mr. Wade visits you at the place you laid your head when has he ever visited you at the place you laid your head so let's be clear because you lied in this just let me tell you which one you lied in right here I think you lied right here. No, 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 no. This is the truth, Judge. It, this, it, it, it is a lie. It is a lie. Sir Wade, visits. you ever paid him through cash? What? Yes. Uh, uh, what, what you're talking about? I'm very confused You've now. never like, given Mr. Wade money through cash app? No. The only money you've ever given him outside of a contract is cash. I didn't give him money in a contract, so that was cute. But I didn't give him money out uh, in a contract. What happened is, no, we're going to answer it since you said it. He worked. He worked more hours than he was paid. And the county paid him for the work that he did. So don't be cute with me and then think that you're not going to get an answer. Funny. They're going to get an answer regardless. You're on a cross-examination stand. They're going to get an answer. Like, what do you mean? Cash because he paid for dinner or I paid for dinner. I've given him cash only a few times in life, probably four. Probably the most money I've ever handed him is $2,500. The least amount of money I've handed him, probably between $500 and $1,000. You never wrote him a check? Ma'am, I don't have checks. Okay. Um, so you have no proof of any reimbursement for any of these things because it was all cash, right? 
testimony of one witness is enough to prove a fact. So oh Lord. So she's trying to, you know, you know, put her ducks in a row as far as her not giving him uh funds via Cash App or Zelle or something like that distributed straight from the account that she's paid for paid paid for with you know the, the government pays her through. So when you hold a position like that, you can't go and spend government funds that is initiated to you on uh, clients or uh, co-workers in this type of manner. It's a conflict of interest. So Fonny really has uh, kind of stepped on her toes with this, and he on his he he on his spilling the beans too. He when did he your tripped up. Relationship with Miss Willis began. 2022. When? In 2022. So Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade said that their relationship started after she hired him in 2021, but her former friend said they were messing around in 2019. Early 2022. But you two met at an October 2019 um, judicial conference, correct? Yes, ma'am. You have no doubt that their romantic relationship was in effect from 2019 until the last time you spoke with her? No doubt. Did you observe them do things? that are uh, in common among people having a romantic relationship? Yes. Such as, can you give us an example? Hugging, kissing, just affection. All, of, all before November 1st of 2021, correct? Yes. When did your romantic relationship with Mr. Wade visit you at the place you laid your head? So, you got her friend saying that the relationship actually started back in 2019. So that's why I really think Young Thug may have a chance because his case could be called a conflict of interest due to her dealing with the Donovan Thomas guy. And you got her with this Trump thing. That's already dead. You might as well put that in the water. So for Young Thug, I think he may have a chance, but he do have some factors that's going against him at the same time. You know, they even had the lawyer that walked up in front of him and gave him a pill or some crazy shit. You know, uh, the other co-defendant, he playing crazy. Like, you know, just wild shit. And already having everybody that's snitching on him, you know, that was making it look bad as well. But uh, that's one thing that I think may be in his favor. But another that won't be in his favor is this Nicole chick. This Nicole chick is a co-defendant of a YSL well, she's the lawyer of a co, co of a YSL uh, co defendant, and she has been locked up recently on these tampering with evidence charges. And y'all, personally, I don't want no white bitch like this in my lawyer. I don't. I like my white folks white. I want to act white. I don't want no white bitch or no or no white boy acting like no nigga in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Bitch, we can't get no no validation with the white people if you over here violating your white card playing nigga no nah, it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be no good for neither one of us so you see she got pictures here posted with M, uh Pee Wee long way and uh you know of course she probably did some work for him in the past and you know she probably fucking these niggas too y'all you know just just look, look we know as black men we know the white girls that tend to get passed around in the circle and she has the characteristics of one of them more. You know, there is nothing better than when you walk out of the gas station and somebody be like, are you Nicole? Look at her. And she got know, that black shit, slang on. The world I live in, I don't even be wanting to claim myself sometimes. But then when he's like, you might not remember because it was a long time ago, but you got me out of jail, that makes me feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this bitch. Ignorant. Look at her. Posted down here with all the money. Just like a nigga bitch. But I want to know, what did you do to get this tampering with evidence charge. I want to know what you did. Let's look you up. Because you had to do some major shit. What did you do? Did you did you hide the dope for him? What, what, what was it? I want to know. There we go. Who?
Okay, it says a defense attorney connected to the Young Slime Life racketeering trial has been arrested on unrelated gang charges, police said. Nicole Figan, who represents Takarius Mender and since severed case was arrested Friday on charges of participation in criminal street gang activity and criminal solicitation to commit the offense of tampering with evidence in connection with a September 27, 2022 shooting of two men. An Atlanta Police Department spokesperson told the Daily Beast during an investigation into the shooting in which one man died, authorities said they received information that Fegan contacted a suspect and advised him he had an active warrant for his arrest. Fegan also allegedly relayed information that she learned during a preliminary hearing about a shooting and told the suspect to dispose of his phone because the police were going to arrest him. Wow. You know what? I might have to just tip my hat at you for that one, girl. You, you know, that that's that's some real one type shit right there. That You know, you would want your lawyer to tell you something like that, even though they don't supposed to. Most of them won't, but some will. So I, I, I give her a cool points on that one. Investigators confirmed Figan was not represented, was not representing their suspect. She called the spokesperson said last year, Figan's client was severed from the rico criminal trial against rapper young thug and his alleged associates after she and another defense attorney announced they were pregnant according to the atlanta journal constitution after 10 months of jury selection the trial began in november and is ongoing Fegan is currently being held in the fulton county jail and she says and she quotes people play gangster and pull these games at the same time that shit is weird so i don't know if she's saying that the person that she told uh to dispose of the phone may have ratted out ratted her out and told they said hey my lawyer told me that this was that to dispose my phone and do this woo, 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 you know and just threw the sheet on her so i think that's what she may be meaning by people play gangster and pull these games at the same time so yeah i think they didn't th- hit you with the okie doke bitch <laughs> just like they did young thug now nah, nigga i ain't do that i ain't in ysl Young Thug did it. So, yeah, she catching hell.